Greetings, everyone. This is our final video in the cost volume of profit analysis series. And in this uh, video, we're going to be specifically talking about weighted average, contribution margin, and sales mix. So let's just jump right in with a problem, an example. Loads of fun swim park sales individual and family tickets, which include a meal, three beverages, and unlimited use of the swimming pools. Loads of Fun has the following ticket prices and variable cost. So we have our individual and family tickets, our sales price and our variable cost for each one. Loads of Fun expects a sales mix of two individual tickets for every three family tickets. So we have a ratio there, two, two individual for every three family. So that's our sales mix. Loads of Fun total fixed cost are $21,000. We need to calculate the number of tickets loads of fun must sell to break even. So that's that's wanting the total number of tickets to break even. And then we want to break that apart and calculate the number of individual tickets and the number of family tickets the company must sell to break even. So the first thing we want to do is set up kind of like a little spreadsheet so that we can calculate our weighted average contribution margin. Because the formula to calculate break-even is very similar to the first one that we talked about in the first video, except we're going to divide by the weighted average contribution margin now because we have more than one product. So let's set up our um, cont contribution margin income statements. So we have sales minus variable cost equals contribution margin. And we've got individual tickets, and we have family tickets. So the sales for the individual ticket are $35 each, and our sales for the family ticket are $105 each. Our variable cost for individual is $25, and our variable cost for family is $100. So our contribution margin for individual is 10, and our contribution margin for family is five. Then we have what's called our sales mix, which they tell us in the story, two individual for every three family. So in our little basket or pod of tickets, we have two individual and three family. So in our pod of tickets, we have three family that are going to be contributing $15 in total, and we have two individual that are going to be contributing $20 in total. So for a total contribution of $35 and a total of five tickets that are contributing that $35. So we'll divide that 35 by the five tickets, and that gives us a weighted average contribution margin per ticket of $7. So to calculate the break-even, very similar to what we did before, we're going to use our fixed cost, which they tell us in the story, our $21,000. Divided by the weighted average contribution margin, which is $7 per ticket, that gives me 3,000 tickets to break even. But I want to take it a step further. I want to know how many individual and how many family tickets need to be sold. Well, so we have individual and we have family. Well, remember our ratio, our sales mix. For every two individual, I sell three family. So remember, there were five tickets in our, in our pod. Two of them were um, individual, and three of them were family. So two out of five total tickets are individual. So two-fifths of 3,000 would be 1,200 tickets, so 1,200 individual. And we could find family by saying, well, 3,000 total tickets minus 1,200. Family must be 1,800. Or we could say three out of five of those 3,000 tickets must be family. So 1,800 family tickets. So we have 1,200 individual plus 1,800 family tickets would give us those 3,000 tickets to break even. I hope you've enjoyed the videos on cost, volume, profit analysis. I hope that you will subscribe to my channel so that you will know when new videos are uploaded. I would also appreciate a thumbs up for this video if you enjoyed it and got something out of it. Also, don't forget to visit me at theaccountingdoctor.com where you can find accounting games, other interesting facts. You can also um, see other lecture videos as well as lecture notes, which I think you'll find very beneficial.